And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show has an NL East matchup. The Atlanta Braves going up against the New York Mets. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go. And our pitcher in this game, Taiwan Walker. What's the word on him? Yeah, ZRA last year was a little worse than average, so definitely be looking for better results this season. One of the keys is just being able to have a consistent delivery and to be able to repeat that delivery so you can hit the spots that you want to hit and have a higher chance of being successful. And a pitch. Ozzie Albies stands in now, looks at that one inside. First pitch, 7 10. Next offering is in for a strike. So now one and two. And a foul ball. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. Next offering in the dirt. The count now two and two. Next one just misses. And that's ball three. And that one is lifted in the air. Marte has this one sized up. And he makes the catch. And there's one down. Here's Brian Stinker's lineup for the Braves. Yes. It includes a guy with a big season last year, Ozzie Albies. Well, he had a huge season offensively last year and truly earned that Silver Slugger Award in the National League. He's one of the best in his position, and he showed it from the offensive side. So you turn the page of this season, man, he wants to continue that and get off to a great start this season. Eddie Rosario takes a ball here as he stands in now. Next offering is foul back. No score just getting started top of the first. One down, base is empty. Lifted in the air, right center field. Makes the grab, tracks it down after the long run. Two away. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Two outs, base is empty. Austin Riley, the next to hit. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. Walker, back to work. Off the plate inside. And that is ball one. The next offering misses. Two balls, no strikes to count. Fans come to the ballpark to watch him play. And in baseball, to have such a talented player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does, just a joy to watch. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. There's a strike. Fouls one away, and now three and two. And here it comes. Got it. That's the third out. Braves are set down one, two, three. It's the Braves nothing. Mets coming to bat. It's Major League Baseball on the show. And on the hill, the lefty, Kyle Muller. 
power pitcher. He's going to speed you up with the fastball velocity, and out of his hand will explode the breaking ball. Very difficult for hitters to keep that front side closed and hit the ball the other way because they know if they're not ready to pull the trigger, the fastball will beat them. We go to the bottom of the first. Jeff McNeil stands in. First pitch just misses. Kicks and fires. And now two and nothing. The 2 0 is in for a strike. offering his foul back. 2-2 two -two now. The punch out there. One away. There's Brandon Nimmo. The right field. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Called strike right there. Slider clips the zone. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. Foul ball. And the 0-2. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Got him. Two gone yeah. after the strikeout. Batting third. The center fielder, Starling Marte. Starling Marte up now for the Mets. Two hits for him in yesterday's game. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. In the air, out to center. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Down in order go the Mets. Scoreless after one. Second inning set to go. Matt Olson up to the plate. Leading off for Atlanta, the first baseman, Matt and a pitch. And downstairs. Next offering is in for a strike. Clyde Washington with home plate duties in this one. A little bit of a low zone boot from Clyde. Nothing crazy, though. Pitchers that work consistently down around the knees and are able to command their off-speed stuff tend to have some pretty good success with him back there behind the plate. The 2-1. Just missed. Singing, what kind of strike zone is most frustrating for hitters? I'd say off the plate, away, and down. And why? Those are the toughest locations to hit the baseball. And that's ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Here's Marcelo Zuna. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well, hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. It puts the squeeze on that one. One down. That is it. The center fielder, number 14. Adam Duvall. Adam Duvall at the plate. And the pitch. 
And a big swing and a miss. The baseball is coming out of his hand very well. He's been able to paint all four corners, but really good ride at the top of the zone. Hitters have to respect that. Very difficult pitch to hit. On the ground, a short could be two. Quick feed to second for one. Back to first, double play. And that's it for the inning. Down to the bottom of the second. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Welcome back. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. The pitch. Good eye in that spot. Now one and two. Do that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Cut on and miss. Struck him out and one away. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to it. And a pitch. Escobar. That's in there. No score here in the second. Check swing, but he went too far. And the count is 0-2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two out. Well, he's really dialed in, and this offense is going to have to do something to try to break that rhythm. Maybe it's square around the ball step out of the box. Agitate him a little bit. Do something that just changes what's happening right now because at this pace, it's going to be a long game, so you got to figure it out quickly. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's J.D. Davis. That one's in there, 0-1. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just got to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. Next offering misses, and that's ball one. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Stays alive. Swings and misses, and that is the third out of the inning. Mets go down quickly. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started. Here's Orlando Arcia. Off of the Braves, the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. The pitch. Into center and a base hit. Batting eight. The right fielder. Rod. Here's Brock Holt. Holt. Here comes a pitch. That one missed. Arcia gets his lead at first with nobody out. Pickoff throw. Arcia back on a dive. And the next pitch is way outside. Oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Next offering is fouled back. That one fouled off two and two. Nobody out. Runner at first. On the ground, two ball. 
Good feed. That's one. And it's a double play. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field. But he can jump you if you make a mistake. Next pitch is outside. Next one misses. Ball two. Next one is off the plate. Now three and one. And he walked him. The batter number one. So the lineup flips over. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Ozzy Albies. He's 0 for 1. The right hander back to work. And ball one. Top of the third, no score. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. And Albies is retired. And that's the third out. Braves strand one, still no score. Set for the bottom of the third, here's Francisco Lindor. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. The pitch. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Next offering is in for a strike. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. Got him. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Here's Mark Canna. And he deals. The wind of the pitch. There's the swing in a miss. That he really sells the changeup with that arm action. The next pitch misses. Now one and two. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. 2-2 two -two now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Swings and misses at the breaking ball in the dirt. Not in time. Safe at first after the strikeout got away. Got it done. The pitcher. James Runner on at first with one gone. And here is James McCann. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. The pitch. There's a strike. And that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. 0-2 now. That's out to center field. Duval makes the grab. Two down. And now here's Jack Second McNeil. Yeah. And a pitch. And there's the strike. If I'm at the dish right now, I am aggressive over the heart of the plate. This guy's been filling up the strike zone, so you know you're going to get a good pitch to hit. And as nasty as his stuff is, you might as well take all three swings. And now the lefty just missed. 
His understanding of the strike zone, very impressive. That was a very close 0-2 fastball. I just don't know how you take that. Left-hand batter waits. A swing and a soft liner. And puts the squeeze on that. And that's the inning. Mets strand one. And we're still knotted at zero. Back here in Queens, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Eddie Rosario. Number eight, Eddie Rosario. The pitch. That misses. Ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. And the righty deals. Just missed. Here's a 2 1. That one's in there. And the count is 2 and 2. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. And that one is lifted in the air. Marte going back, back some more. And there's one away. Here's Austin Riley. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. The next offering misses, and the count even one and one. Next offering misses, two and one. That one not close. And now three and one. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. The 3-1 in for a strike, full count. Two strikes to a guy who's already 0-for-1 with the punch out, the only guy in the lineup with that strikeout. But you can't get too relaxed. You still got to make good pitches to get him out. And he reluctantly takes his walk. Up next for it, Here's Matt Olson. But this guy has turned into a beast. And here it comes. And there's a ball. Riley, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. That one hit to right. Nimmo under it. Drops into the glove. And there are two down. Marcelo Zuna next up for the Braves. Got to be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average. But there's on base and slugging, too. And the 0-1. And yeah, that's outside. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power. But then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. The 1-1. And that one fouled off. Righty to the plate. In the air right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And the inning is over. One left for Atlanta. And we are still. Bottom of the inning. And stepping in for New York, Brandon Nimmo. Muller back to work. Brandon. In the air right field. Holt settles underneath it. He makes the grab. And a quick out number one. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back, the no doubt. Fielder, number six. Here's Starling Marte. Marte. The wide to kick the pitch. And a ground ball to first. He handles it himself, 
Two up, two down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work the behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And a pitch. Alonso in the box now as he looks at one outside. Second plate appearance for him so far. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. The Mets hitless so far in the game. Out towards right center field. And makes the grab. And that ends the inning. And the Mets go down 1-2-3. Still no score. Back here at City Field. Here's the center fielder, Adam Duvall. The, the center fielder, number 14, Adam Duvall. A wind and a pitch. There's a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Time called. Chance to collect himself down 0 2. Next offering is foul back. The 0 2. Good eye right there. And a ball evens the count. Now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Line drive, base hit right center field. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. And first offering is fouled off. Slapped foul. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. Yeah, the right hander deals. Stays alive. Duvall gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Next pitch is popped up. Escobar towards the line, looking up, makes a one handed catch. Now Brock Holt gets a chance to hit. Brock. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. Right-hander kicks, deals. That one fouled off. Way inside, gets out of the way. One and two here. And now two and two. That's a really good take. Next pitch is popped up. Makes the grab. And there's two down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath now it a little bit and popped it up. The catcher. Here's the catcher Travis. to hit. Travis Darno. Darno. And a pitch. Now this one gets away from McCann. And now a man into scoring position. Two outs and one in scoring position. And a foul ball. Ball on a strike. That misses. Two and one. The two one. 
Foul ball there. And that one fouled off. The 2 2. And a swing and a miss. That's out number three. Last half of the fifth coming up. And we still have no score. And welcome back. Now, Eduardo Escobar. Leading up for the men. The third baseman, Eduardo Escobar. Swings here and blasts one left field. That's back. Makes the catch up against the wall. Now batter, the designated hitter. Now it's the DH, J.D. Davis. The wind of the pitch. That misses. And it's one and oh. One and oh. Swing and a miss. One and a count one and one. Ripped into right center. And now maybe extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And it's a double. Their first hit in this one. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front the side. Not and the hands just continue to Fresh carry through the Lee middle of the goal. field. So up next, Francisco Lindor. The switch hitter batting right. And it's fouled away. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Next offering upstairs. Davis leads off second with one gone in the inning. Got him. And there's two away. Most guys are very aggressive when they see the stakes out there on the base paths and can't understand why he wasn't ready to swing the bat. You've got to be ready to swing the bat in a situation like that with the go-ahead run in scoring position. Now the left fielder, Mark Canna. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Next offering is down low, and that's ball one. Lifted in the air, right center field. Holt sizes this one up. And that'll do it. Mets leave one, and we're still knotted at zero. I'm in my zone now. Money don't slow down. I'm grown now. Yeah. Welcome back. Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Ground ball right side, and Albies is retired. Here's Eddie Rosario. Eddie Rosario. Yeah, the right hater back to work. On the ground. McNeil handles the chance. McNeil gets to first. And a couple of quick outs. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front. Rolled over it. Put it on the ground. Two outs. Base is empty. Now the third baseman, Austin Riley. Good contact guy. Good defender. You can expect this hitter to be looking for something on a tee. He can get up in the air and untie this ball game. On the ground. Out to short. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. Just one of those scene eye base now, hits through the infield. The Just kind of rolled over on it Matt. a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. There comes a skipper out of the dugout, and he's ready to make the move. Taiwan Walker won't go any further, and it's a tie ball game as he heads for the dugout. Back with a new arm after a quick break. Carlos Carrasco taking over on the mound. He's making his second appearance of the season. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and the little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Two outs, runner at first. And now Matt Olson up to hit. First offering misses the mark.
swung on, belted. That one back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Clean work out of the Mets bullpen there. 9-1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the six. And we still have no score. Okay, you asked for me. About to go no Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the catcher for the Mets, James McCann. James. First pitch, and he just misses. Swings through that one for strike one. Lined, and that's a base hit. And it gets by him. Around first, digging for two. And he's into second with nobody out. The batter, number one. So the batting second order baseman. turns over. Now it's the second baseman, Jeff McNeil. And he deals. And that's in there at the knees. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. No outs. Runner on second. In the dirt. And the runner holds. Next pitch misses way outside. Next one off the plate inside. And the count is filled up. And a swing and a miss. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Nimmo watches that one go just below the knees for a ball. Swings and misses. That's strike one. Runner at second here, one gone. Hard hit left side. And they got him. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. And time is called for a mound visit now. Big moment in this game, so they'll talk it over. And the pitch. Marte up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Next offering is downstairs. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. That one lifted to left. And that'll fall for a base hit. McCann doesn't stop. Heads for home. In there safely. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want. But his resume speaks for itself. So two down. Pete Alonso up now for the Mets. Colin McHugh gets the ball now and he'll do his best to keep this close and a pitch ball one there Marte leads off first with two down to the inning next offering is in for a strike next one misses and that's ball two Marte on the move. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to second. Not in time. He's there easily. Runner at second. Two down. Next offering upstairs. Swing and a miss. And that is that. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 1-0. Back here in Queens, we go to the top of the seventh at the play. Marcelo Zuna. I mean, these guys know they have to get going out of the gates, but you're not going to hear a skipper. You're not going to hear people really say that. And he grounds one back up the middle. The throw to first, one up, one down. 
the center fielder, number 14, Adam, Adam Duvall at the plate. Duvall. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. Stirring in the bullpen for the Mets, Trevor May preparing to come on if needed. Adovino getting loose as well. Nope. Next pitch inside, two balls, no strikes. Kicks and deals. That one spoiled, and the count now two and one. The tying run at the plate. Next offering is outside. Righty delivers, and there's ball four. One down, runner at first. Now it's the shortstop, Orlando Arcia, one for two. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. Carrasco back to work. Here goes the runner. The tag, and he's out at second. Such a quick and fast swing of emotions right there. You get the runner on with the walk, which is great, but then picks a bad pitch to go on, and you just erase the free pass that you were issued. I understand you want to be aggressive. You want to try to get in the scoring position, but you just have to be a little smarter there. The next offering misses, and it's 2-0. Oh. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. That just came apart right there. Four-pitch walk, and guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Rock. And here it comes. Holt looks at one outside there. Go with the tie and run at first base. He's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on. Drive it into a gap and score that run from first base. The 1-0. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. Nimmo makes the catch, and that'll do it. Brave strand one. They're down one nothing. Bottom of the seventh, and now it's switch hitting third baseman Eduardo Escobar. For the Mets, the third baseman. There's the strike. Well, a good slider from an opposite-handed pitcher has to stay in that tunnel just a little bit longer. Otherwise, recognition can cause you to barrel it up. And right there, the hitter clearly couldn't do anything with it. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And one out now. Now it's the J.D. Davis. The designated hitter, J.D. The wind of the Davis. pitch. And a good eye there. Fall off foul. 1-1 one, one now. Down to ball here. Rolls foul. Right-handed reliever. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. The pitch. Lindor. And a foul ball left side. The 0 1. Brown ball to the right side. And he grabs it in foul ground. Next offering upstairs. Man, this has been a real important inning in relief. I mean, so far, they've been doing a great job holding that deficit at one. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. The big righty strikes out the side. Down in order go the Mets. But they hold a 1-0 lead. Taking over on the mound for the Mets, Trevor May. 
And he'll work on holding this lead. Number 65. Back here at City Field, ready to begin the eighth. And now it's Travis Darno at the plate. Well, in their win last game, this guy came up with two home runs. Obviously trying to keep them. And meanwhile, this a fair ball down the left field line. Makes the turn and heads for second. Hanna whips it back in as the tying run is forced to stop at second. Well, a big swing of the bat right the there. Solid one. swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. A chance now to even the score and maybe extend this game. So a change being made out at second. Coming in as the pinch runner, Dansby Swanson. Dansby Swanson. Ozzy Albies up to the plate. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And the 1-0. Good eye right there. Yeah, you know, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. Here comes a pitch. See the velocity 97 with that fastball. Runner at second, nobody out. In the air, right side. That's back there. Turning and looking, and it's gone. Ozzy Albies goes yard. His second of the year, it's 2-1. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. Here's Eddie Rosario. The batter. The left fielder. Eddie. The pitch. Rosario. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. And he'll one. And that one is lifted in the air. Marte on his way over. And there's one down. Now so they turn to the veteran the pitcher in this spot, Marte. Seth Lugo. This is his first You're appearance of the season. Now pitching for the Mets. Number 67, Seth Lugo. Here's the third baseman, Austin Riley, for the fourth time tonight. The pitch. Up the middle, McNeil collects it. Not in time, he's safe. Now batting, the first baseman, Matt Olson. Here is Matt Olson. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. And a pitch. Double play ball to second. Lindor, that's one. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. But two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two-run homer. And the home team down a run. At the bullpen is Will Smith trying to protect this lead. Well, I think that what makes him so tough against left-handers is he hides the ball for a long time. And from that same side, harder for you to determine Ladies which part of the plate it's going to end up on. Please. Manny Pena, the new catcher now. now catch Back here at the ballpark, Number onto nine. the bottom of the eighth. Here's the left fielder, Mark Canna, and the pitch. That catches the corner. I wonder how much of a distraction those fans behind home plate are to the opposing pitcher. I mean, they are into it. They're trying to will this club back into this ball game. The next pitch misses, and it's one and two. 
popped up foul territory behind the play. And there's one down. James now McCann in now. And the pitch. McCann. McCann fouls one off. Kicks and fires. Swings through that one out front that time. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes and two away now. Gosh, here it is. Hit it. Three pitch strikeout. All fastballs. Man, he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch right now. And he deals. Big deal. Stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. To third. Riley over to pick it up. Riley fires the first. Inning over. Nothing doing for the Mets. And our score remains 2 1. And welcome back. Here's Marcelo Zuna. A wide kick the pitch. And that one a little bit high. And a foul ball. Righty to the plate. And a count one and two. He was a little out front, but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. And a foul ball. He stays alive. There's a swing and a drive. And that one's gone. He sends it out of here. And they add to the lead. It's 3-1. For a pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel the to the baseball. Next to hit, Adam, Adam Duvall. Duvall. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, you just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. Next offering misses, and the count is one and one. The one one is upstairs, and the count two and one. Next pitch is outside. and misses and we're filled up. The 3-2 is off the outside edge and that is ball four. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. Runner at first with no outs here. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. And the righty deals. And it's strike two. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. The one-two. In the dirt. 
Nice job behind the plate there. And the right hander deals. Got him looking. And that's the first out. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a cold ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Brock Holt, the batter, moved to first. Duvall dives back in safely. And a pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. McNeil settles under this one. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Well, that's a frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter the right there. I mean, that pitch was right Man. down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics, and instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Manny Pena in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. And now the 1. He swings and fouls one off. Move to first. Duvall back in on a dive. Duvall, the runner at first with two gone. Line drive, base hit. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. The batter number one. Nice Second line three. drive to the pull side. Oh, met it out front, oh, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. It was a two-run homer for him in the eighth. That was a huge swing in the late innings of this one, Singy. Yeah, it was a critical moment in the game, especially considering the inning. They needed it, and he really came through. pitch and that one wrapped foul two outs out towards right center field Nimmo makes his way towards it brings it in with a nice running grab and that'll do it but add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further and this is now a three one ball game so electric, baby. Kenley on lead. here, and he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Number 74, Kenley. Welcome back. Kenley. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Brandon Nimmo. He's someone that you might not describe as go. having elite level back. speed, but no he can field. absolutely move, Brandon. and it is a factor in his game. Nimmo. Look, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Here's the 0-2. That's down and in. One ball. Next pitch misses. It's 2-2. Two and two. Kicks and deals. And down on strikes. One out, bottom of the ninth. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch now out batter. when they're on the mound Center because field. if they get Four on, way. just the distraction that they Four create way. with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter. And that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi run home run. Starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's going to have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by you. Next offering is foul back. The wind of the pitch. That misses the zone, and that's ball three. Hey, look, we'll see how it factors in. I just can't emphasize how much that insurance run in the top of the ninth means. I mean, just such a big difference mentally when you're chasing two runs instead of one. Olsen makes the grab, two down. Now Here's back. Pete Alonso. First baseman, Pete. 
the pitch. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Up the middle. On to first, ball game. And the Braves claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. Sometimes you can flip.